very much out in the middle of nowhere. Wow, look at that steep edge. Oh, oh my God. Are you okay? GPS says we're gonna get back at 1 a.m. Whoopsies. We're the Farnsworths. For the last five years, we've traveled across the U.S. in our RV full time with our three kids and a dog taking travel nurse jobs 13 weeks at a time. Now in a season of transition, we're planning our next unordinary path. Come with us today as we explore Agua Fria National Monument and Sheep Bridge. Welcome back to No Ordinary Path. This is what I love about Phoenix. Top down, doors off, you absolutely cannot beat this. I know some people have told me that in a couple of weeks it's gonna be like hotter than Satan's booty hole. Can I even say that on YouTube? I don't know. But I don't even care. I don't even care because look at the sunshine. My mental health is absolutely loving all of the sunshine. Just running over to Starbucks to get myself a little iced coffee, cool down a little bit before I come back and let the kids play in the pool because that is how we are rolling right now. In today's episode, we're gonna take you to a little place that we've been wanting to go to for a long time. It's called Sheep Bridge. It's off of Bloody Basin Road and we went with our friends, the Penlins, before they skedaddled and left us in the dust here in Arizona. Now nah, we're happy for them and we're enjoying our time in Phoenix. Man, I should have gotten a hair tie. Before we head over to Sheep Bridge, I figured I'd just give you a little update because I know y'all are wondering, where's the RV? Have you sold the RV? What are your next plans? The rig. No, it has not sold yet. We have not listed it on RV Trader yet because we still haven't taken like really nice professional pictures and we're also exploring other options like consignment and things like that. I'm not that concerned. I really do think it's gonna sell so I'm not worried about it and I'm genuinely, I'm just really excited about our next chapter and that makes it really difficult to be sad about it at all. Hello, what can I get for you today? Hi there. What are we doing next update? Well, we are not quite ready to share that but we do have some plans in the works for later on this year and uh, Definitely for January. We're in the middle of, uh, you know, figuring out our plane tickets and all that kind of fun stuff. So once we get some plans more solidified, we will definitely let you know where we will be at come January, 2024. In the meantime, we're going to keep exploring our new home state of Arizona and the Southwest and do some adventuring. We have looked into overlanding. I'm sure we'll have an episode about that coming soon we're going to be sharing a series on Tuesdays all about travel nursing if you've ever wondered how to get into it you've watched some of our videos maybe you're thinking about it we are going to go through like a step-by-step -step informative series on Tuesdays about travel nursing and the market and how you can get into it whether you can bring your family all the questions that you have uh, we're going to be talking about that over the whole summer on Tuesday. So we hope that you'll join us for that. And then every other Sunday, we'll still be sharing our updates and what we're doing and what we're adventuring on. And of course, we're going to let you know on our plans as soon as they're a little bit more solidified. That is the spot. The person in front of me paid for my drink, which was so nice. And I paid for the person behind me. So I wonder how long that chain has been going on. I'm heading home now, so let's roll the footage of Sheep Bridge. We are off on an adventure with our friends. We are headed to Sheep Bridge and Bloody Basin. Bloody Basin Road. Ooh, this is hot. I know that is that is gonna that's gonna be a problem. Beautiful! It's like 80 79! 79. It's 79 right now. You guys excited? Wow. 
Sheep's Bridge. It is very much out in the middle of nowhere, but it's pretty cool. The Flagstaff Sheep Company and the Howard Sheep Company constructed the original bridge to minimize the loss of sheep when crossing the river in 1943. Sheep herding in this area was discontinued, but this replica stands as a reminder, and it's a really fun place to recreate by the river. Unfortunately, it is all shaded it took us okay google said three hours i think it took us five to get here and it's gonna be really late night because we have to go back the same way if we can't figure out a way to cross the river our plan was to cross the river and come back via horseshoe lake but the river was just too high to safely cross that meant there was plenty of water to enjoy a quick dip my daredevil children cannot pass up a, sw a rope swing my boys have been begging for this all day long. They're like, we, we drove all this way, we're gonna do it. Yeah. Look out, look out. <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh my God. Are you okay? <laughs> it was too late we didn't go to horseshoe dam we didn't have enough time so we are going back and GPS says we're gonna get back at 1 a.m. whoopsies this is gonna be quite an adventure driving at night on four-wheel trails I do not advise this but we'll be back a different way we have lights yeah we have lights yeah it's an adventure it'll be fine long journey back but we did manage to shave an hour off of our time we are still not home it's 10 30 at night <laughs> they one spicy to the nachos. Yes, we have an extra child with us currently as we air our tires back up you okay with doritos dito. no bro it's dito. The dito. That, you want some more you want to ride we're just back? watching ethan's acrobatics on replay <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, this is the destruction from yesterday. I can't even, hold on, let me make sure I'm not backing into anybody. Oh, I didn't like something. It's the sunshine. Oh. Perfect. It's fine. We have fun with our Jeep, right? It's a Jeep. It's a Jeep. I'm upset. Just empty every pocket. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a Jeep. So much cleaner now. It's gonna start warming up here in Phoenix, so we are gonna be making a Flagstaff visit, possibly Payson as well. So if you guys have anything in Flagstaff or Payson that you think we should absolutely go check out, especially in the Jeep and camping, overlanding. Please let us know in the comments so that we can start filling out our calendar for the summer and adventuring here locally while we're figuring out our future plans. And as always, thank you so much for joining us. Although we won't be in an RV, we still hope to see you out there.
Cheers.